And just imagine what you could do if you knew you couldn't fail. Does a pilot fail every time he's a little off course? Does he say, screw it, I'm going to just take this thing down, emergency landing? No, thank God. <laughs> okay? He gets that feedback and he course corrects. I'll tell you, 9 11, okay, September 11, 2001, was a major day for me, personally. I had been struggling for a few years prior to 9 11 with first a major depression. Okay, major, major depression. And that turned into substance abuse. As we're talking and figuring out what's next for me, TV's on in the kitchen. What happens? A plane hits the World Trade Center. Then what happens? Second plane hits the World Trade Center. Everything changed in an instant for me. Okay? That was it. There was a complete shift. And I never looked back. We say we want to change something about ourselves, and uh, we talk about the long, hard road ahead, one day at a time, right? Okay? Change is difficult. Change takes a long time. I'm here to tell you, that's not true. Change is instant. If you don't believe me, if you think for some reason that I'm off the mark here, go to a hospital. Go ask someone who wakes up in a hospital if their values are maybe a little different than the day before. So what happens? You get penalized for changing. Right? Are you with me? You're wondering why more people don't just change quickly? At least if you take that long, hard Ross one day at a time, okay? At least you don't get penalized that way. You wake up different one day, you're going to be an outcast. What I'm really saying is we don't do anything in life because we lack a certain belief. There's a belief there that's making us do it. Why am I not losing weight anymore? What kind, of, what kind of answer is your brain going to generate? So you started off, you're exercising, you're doing the right things, and you're not losing weight. And you say, why am I not losing weight anymore? Now, unless you've got a damn good belief system in place, what's going to happen? Your brain's going to say, because you're always going to be fat loser, right? Okay? We can laugh, it's okay, because we're in a group. At the end of the day, how important re is it really to look good in a bikini? Okay, or have a beach body, or have a six pack? Seriously, how does that really feed into who you are as a human being? Who you're going to be 40 years from now? Is that a big why? Is that a major why that's going to make you change everything? No. Okay, so I understand that for many people who want to lose weight, there's a part of them that wants to just enjoy food, right? If you want to know the key to this whole congruence thing, it's really being a good negotiator. Finding out what these two parts want and then finding that middle ground. Okay? And doing this inner negotiation. So my first thing for Nutrition 101 is if it's bad, don't eat it. Eat real food. Vegetables and fruits. Everybody's like, come on, tell me. I have friends all the time. You know, how do, I, how do I start eating better? I'm like, eat more fruits and vegetables. No, seriously, what do I do? <laughs> right? You can't think without fat. Your brain needs fat. It needs to ingest fat in order to work. Okay, so if you go on a fat-free diet and really go off the deep end, not only are you going to be depressed, depleted, and everything else, but you're going to be stupid because your brain is not working. There's a reason that those foods are so addictive. The companies that manufacture those packaged goods have a formula figured out, just like a good drug dealer that makes your body crave those foods. A specific ratio of fat, salt, and sugar. So unless you want to turn your kid into a crack addict, okay, I'm being a little facetious, but I'm also being serious, don't give it to them. First and foremost, something's better than nothing, so move around. Okay? You walk up and down the stairs in your house. Yeah, but that's stupid. Why? It's exercise. Right? Okay? I don't care if you feel, feel silly doing it. Do something. Move around. Number one is always try and up the level of intensity. Okay? Most of the studies that are coming out right now directly link the benefits of exercise to the intensity of it. Most women are afraid to, for instance, lift heavy weights because they're going to get bulked up. You're never going to get bulked up. You don't have enough testosterone, so relax. Okay? Doesn't happen. Physiologically impossible. Any of the bodybuilder women you see who are very big, I'll tell you a little secret. They're using steroids, okay? 
It is what it is. When you're exercising, try to stay away from machines and do stuff standing up. You burn more calories, you recruit your core, you've heard about using your core, right? Okay, do exercises standing up. So try to do most of this stuff on your feet. How many people say, procrastination, here it is, ready? <laughs> okay. How many people say, I'm going to do it tomorrow? How many people say, I'm going to do it tomorrow? Okay. Tomorrow becomes never. That's all I've got. I was hoping to share a little bit more. But thank you very much for having me.